Hello, namaste ladies and gentlemen. Today I will make for you my crew accommodation tour because I've got so many messages regarding my job and one of uh, the question was how is the cabin crew accommodation, what are the facilities, uh, what we can do, what we cannot do and I know that so many girls in India they would like to become air hostess or they already are and they would like to move to the Middle East so I hope this video vlog will be helpful if you have any friends who would like to um, work for uh, Oman Air, Emirates, Qatar Airways, Etihad, this is a good chance to show them this video because the standard is pretty much same or similar and I hope you're gonna enjoy! Let's go! Welcome to my apartment! This is the living room quite big there is space for everything There is everything what we need. The sofas, TV, we can chill after the flight. And I tell you to come back to such nice environment after the tiring flight, it's blessing. Normally we have the flatmate. My flatmate uh, is somewhere else. She doesn't even come to apartment. It's very, very rare that she comes here. I will show you my room. I have the master one. <laughs> I have Almera number one, Almera number two, Almera number three. And I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this because most of the space, oh sorry, this is like a store. Um, we are having uh, some, I don't know even what is this. My flatmate, she put it and we never use it. But yeah, if you think I'm using all of these things, no, because I'm minimalist, I don't need a lot, that's it what I have. And it's not really big one. Mm, capre, capre, capre. <laughs> oh. There is a dust, you can see. This is Middle East dust. Wow, looks like a snow. No matter how much you are cleaning, it's there, you know, whenever I'm opening the wear drop. Woo! Oh my gosh. Guys, there is time to undust my wear drop. I didn't even know that so many, so much dust it will be here. Wow. And here is my show challenge. <laughs> It's cool, look what kind of mirror we have. It's kind of, you know, light. And I really love it. A lot of space here for our <laughs> women's stuff. Uh, you know, I regret we don't have the bathtub. I would prefer to have it, but it's okay. It's better than nothing. So yeah, this is my show channel, which it's Amazing, I would say. It's only for me. It's in my room because I have a master. My flatmate, she has um, show chale in in front of her room. But as I said, uh, three show chale are only for me. Ta da! This is hair. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you also for the guests in case we would like to invite some someone. There is also. Uh, toilet number three here is the kitchen from day one it was everything microwave kettle here you can cook you can bake there was even the box with the utensils and I made my small mini temple my Agarbati and the Lord Ganesha which I love and you know another good thing is um, about this flat that we don't have to care about the bills about the spendings which normally people they have to care um, internet bills everything is provided so at the end of the day I sleep with a peace of mind 
because imagine you get this two thousand or three thousand uh, dollars and at the end of the month you don't have spendings as normal people they have <laughs> i have a lot of neighbors korean from bangladesh from um, nepal from india name it from iran from another parts of europe and that's also cool because whatever you need you will get it you know you want lovely hakka noodles from your neighbor you can get it you want a soya sauce from your chinese colleague you can get it the good quality i'm talking about right this is our elevators we have to have a special key otherwise you will never ever come here <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, as you can see, it's like a hotel. Without the ski, I cannot go down. Na, 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 na. Let's go to the gym! It's amazing, no? When I first time seen this building, I was really amazed. Amazed! Oh, the girls are exercising. I don't want to disturb them, so it's really cool. A lot of equipment. Let's go now to the swimming pool area and also I will show you our entertainment after the flight. Hello, Namaste! Oh, we have also the Indian friends. Hello, I'm oh, sorry, I don't want to disturb you, sir. It's good to see you, very nice. Good, take care, say Namaste. <laughs> Okay. New city back? Huh? New city? No, 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 no. This video is. Video. Huh? Accommodation. Crew accommodation. Huh? Huh? So this is the billiard. If you wanna play, I like it, but I don't have time for it. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, let's go. And this is the area which I like after the flight the most. Swimming pool is a must. People like to swim, have some sun. There is my friend. building is really amazing so yes that's it if it comes to showing you the apartment what I wanted to show you I showed you I didn't show you the um, room of my flatmate because she's not here however what I wanted to say is that I really love this facility from my company I appreciate because the crew, for example, have opportunity to save the money and if you don't want to stay in accommodation, you can. However, for many of us, it's a good chance to be here and not spend, you know, the money for the bills and for the stuff which are basically required in life to be done. Uh, what was the question? How many flatmates we get? It depends. Sometimes one, sometimes two. It depends which flat you're gonna get. I have one flatmate, but as I mentioned, she's not staying here. She decided to stay in a different building with somebody else, uh, but she's still assigned here. If anybody decides to move out, yes, it's possible you will get the money from the company for your, um, like it's like a housing allowance package and you can do what you like. 
If it comes to life here, you have to obey the rules. There are some certain rules which cabin crew have, you know, about visitors. Uh, for example, here in Oman, we are not allowed to invite any male visitor. In other airlines, I've heard it's uh, possible, but here it's not allowed to live with our partner, to, you know, uh, have family life. So if you would like to um, have a children, you have to move from here. Yeah, this is the thing. Uh, what else? Mm, you have to remember that you sharing accommodation with the people who are from another, you know, culture and from another countries. And uh, this kind of, um, no, I know not everybody will be comfortable with this, yeah? Like some people, they are in the age where they deciding that they don't want to, um, you know, have anything common like students uh, who share the flat. They don't want to do this kind of uh, compromises. So I would say you have to really be respectful and, you know, of course nobody will tell you what you have to eat, but if you don't want to have a clash between your uh, flatmates, it's good to talk and you also have to maintain uh, the standard which is uh, between the crew and not everybody is fine with it. So it's good to know about uh, this kind of um, lifestyle which is here in accommodation. We have to register our guest. Nobody can just come from the street. Uh, only in the certain hours like uh, from 7 to till uh, 10 p.m. Yes. Somebody can come, your friend, but uh, sister, mother, or whoever is your family member, they have to be registered. And I think from this rules, that's it. Uh, I hope this uh, vlog helped. If anybody is interested to join the airline in the Middle East, um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and see you soon. I have small surprise for you <laughs> and I will show you Batman. So, Firmilenge, thank you for watching and Namaste!